What's up, guys? I'm Justin Davis. I'm here with my close personal friend, Anthony Gallegos. Yay! Hey. Also, you know about Minecraft and you know about baby games. So I do. I, lo I like. I play way too many mobile games. So we're gonna do a let's play of Block Fortress, which is a brand new game. It's out today. It's sort of a mix of Minecraft and tower defense. And I don't really know that much about how it works. Like, it's very dense. It's very confusing. I'm okay with that. Sandbox and survival, I already recognize these. <laughs> these are terms that we know. So we can choose where in our map we want to go. Okay. Um, do you have a preference? Um, yeah, sure. Tropical Islands. Yeah, let's do that. Can I do that? How do I, how do I select it? Did I just select it? Maybe we have to... Uh, no, okay. I got it. Okay. We got it. I, we just had to back back up. So, I have played this like once before. Oh wow, you weren't kidding when you said it looks like Minecraft when you look at it. So the first thing you do is, you know, you're sort of flying through the air and you choose where you want to place your like starting barracks. Okay. And you don't have complete freedom, like I'm tapping in the back of the screen and now like I can place it back there. Right, so there's a limit to the area. And the barracks are the area that you have to defend. And I think these are resources, the purple. Yeah, I think it said that this area has rare blue blocks. Yeah, so I mean we want to be close to the purple. What do you think? But we also need to have a spot to defend, like maybe on the top of that hill. Yeah, sure. Hills always seem like a good... Or maybe on top of the of the of that hill. Right there? Yeah, like yeah. we'll build it around that spot. Okay, so that's our barracks. <coughs> and now how this works is you can arrow up and down to, you know, sort of get a look around. And then right. you can place some blocks, but the blocks cost... Like if we were to place a wall, that's taking away uh, one of my minerals. So we can build up a wall. And, it, and the direction up in the top left shows you where the enemies are going to attack from. So right, the enemies right, are going right. to attack from this direction. So let's they're coming see. from the west. Yeah, I suppose let's build up like, you know, oh, Jesus, that's kind of hard to tap. I wonder if I can move. I don't think I can enter movement mode until the wave starts, unfortunately. Like this game is a little bit clunky in like how it works. Yeah, I like the idea though already of what I'm seeing here. I want to build like a spot for me to walk through. And then, so then here's the other thing that makes this game different is you place turrets. What? Machine guns. Yeah, so I have a machine gun turret. And you actually, like, if you go into the menu, Whoa. there's, okay, there's all a lot of kinds of different, like, blocks, and I don't know what they do. There's way different, like, turrets that you unlock, like a plasma turret, a mortar, like. Oh, my God. They have mervs, freeze guns, yeah. nukes. And you level up. Your level is consistent. So the way that this game works is, like, I, I did a couple waves and then died, and then that's all I'd ever played to this game. And right. I went up to level two, and then that unlocked, like, the plasma turret. Right? Okay, okay. So even if you lose, you're still... You're doing okay. You're going to work towards something. Turrets have to be powered. That's yeah. what that icon means. So you have to put a power block nearby them. Okay. And, then and that also costs of minerals. Yeah, so. that costs a lot of minerals. So we started with like 75 and we're already down to right, 40. Right. And the last big thing that I think I have figured out oh my is God. you place mine shafts, but you don't dig. Like you place them over. Oh, why can't I put one there? Oh, I have put one there, but it's not powered. So okay. we, have to, we have to power our mine shafts as well. And then maybe put a mine shaft. Yeah, if we can put one over that blue box since we have the power so close. No, nope, can't afford it. I need Ugh. 62 money, and I only have 60. Wow. And okay, those are really expensive. Um, So we need more turrets, though. Maybe a turret there. And, like, I don't really know. I know you can select them to see, um, like, what ha what their firing arc is going to be. Right, like, I don't know right. how far, like, down-facing they can fire. Right. I mean, this is probably... And it's cool. It tells you the hit points it has. That's cool. Yeah. Let's get like let's have like one more fallback tower in case everything goes south. Okay. 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 I mean, and it's powered. Yeah. 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 And then I you, think so too. And then you tap the like if you tap up oh there in the corner. Oh my god. Oh, and you get to play in first person. Yeah. And you and then you play like then you control the units that are gonna come. Oh my god. I see. I might have done this really poorly because. No. 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 Like those tar turrets are gonna have a hard time. We'll see. And then, so the, I'm not super impressed with the first-person controls. Um, you know, sure, you, virtual sticks are tough. You move the left side of the stick, and then you, you fire with a button on the right. But it's sort of hard to aim and fire at the same time. Right. Um, this wave is melee enemies only, but there are different enemy types. You know, there's these little goblin guys. Die. God, that guy is no joke. Oop, oop. Well, maybe I'll back up to my turrets. I have a health bar. Um, am I? And then they're trying to attack. Oh, jeez. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they look a little bit like uh, like uh, Minecraft representations of characters out of uh, out of uh, Warhammer. Yeah, for sure. They're kind of janky. I mean, this whole game is not incredibly polished, honestly. Um, like, I think the gameplay is compelling. I think some of the like fortresses and towers that I've seen people build are compelling, but. 
you know, the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay could use a little bit more polish. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, a, to me, it comes across as a bit of a Minecraft mod, right? Yeah. Rather than, like, something that's, like, super like, like thought a, out. Like a brand new its own thing. Yeah, I mean, this is very, like, very much an indie small team effort. I mean, that being said, it's still impressive to see what people have thought of with, like, you know, the brick building mechanic and all that. Right, like this Ace of Spades. Like, right. Minecraft is a genre now, right? Yeah. I didn't turn off my notifications. I'm such a noob. <laughs> I don't ever turn off my notifications. So I hear my tower is doing some work for me. They are, and that's good. And you get, like, a warning. Like, if you leave your base and you're fighting somebody, like, it tells you when your base is being attacked. Oh, yeah, they're holding their own. Yeah, they're doing good. But I gotta get their money, the money that they're dropping. Ooh. And so each block has like a see he, that turret can't shoot that guy. Oh, That's what I was worried about. Because he's so close. Yeah. They, it, I think they have trouble aiming downward. I'm not really positive, honestly. And then the wave, uh, you know, once we kill the these seven enemies that are left, the wave will be over, and we get a chance to build again. So it's like build enemy wave, build enemy wave. Right. Oh, see, these guys are bypassing my towers. Yeah, it's a little bit like Sanctum in that regard. Yep. Sanctum's another game where it kind of followed that same principle. Okay. Oh, no, your power source, that's bad. Yeah, see, that's why it's good that I have that turret in the back. I see, yeah, like, too. Like my cleanup turret. Yeah, and you could also potentially put bricks all the way around your power source to keep it from being attacked. Yep, you totally could. Where's the last enemy? He's hiding. And, like, there's no limit. Like, I don't have to build around my base. I only did that to, like, you know, keep it defended. Like, sure. I can build stuff wherever I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, in theory, channel them through small brick walls and stuff like that towards your... Like, you could leave a path open to the barracks if you wanted. Yep. I'm probably that, I'm probably doing, like, the most noob thing right now. Well, I'm just saying, like, a strategy could be you could make a path open to the barracks and then channel everyone through that because they'll naturally go for the shortest path, but then just lace it with turrets. Yeah, totally. Um... So I got one rare mineral, and this is the way, like, if you ever get stuck in this game, um, <laughs> okay, that's a little disconcerting. <laughs> oh, maybe I just need to name it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. So now the enemy, so this instance, actually, the enemy's attacking from the same direction, which usually doesn't happen. They're going to attack from the west again next turn. So we got money. Okay. And now we can use that money. We should definitely build another mine shaft. I feel like, I mean, I don't know exactly what they do, but I feel like I'm going to need yeah, minerals. You need that's, probably resources. that's probably important. And maybe one more mine shaft. Yep. Um, Since you can afford it. They're coming from the same direction. I want to try. Do, can I get a plasma tower? Oh, so I have slots that I can fill. So I can, like, dra like do I drag it on or do I tap? Do yeah, I there you tap? go. Now you're plasma. Oh, now I'm plasma. Okay. And then I like having them up like a couple like I don't like having them just yeah I know that's th that's the bad thing is maybe they can't shoot when guys get really close but mm, uh yeah I mean I guess I don't really but know. the whole thing is that is that they're protected too oh see look there that's actually a much clearer vision of how it can the fire arc. yeah yeah so, so it, you get to see how so close it, yeah so it's base isn't protected but it fires in a really wide arc and since that one has no power you could yeah I was gonna say put the power up high and protect it as well nice and I don't know exactly like if I tap on a power block Oh, so it does show me how far that power block will power things. So I really I actually didn't even need two power blocks in that spot. That's You could trash it. You could trash the other one. Well, so but I also see that power in the top middle, uh, 8 out of 15. Like, I have right, a total right. amount of power. Um, I don't know, maybe one more plasma? Yeah. Let's put it, like, right there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Anthony. Yeah, we're l we're learning. That's the whole purpose of this yeah. is that we jumped into this with that. Oh no, but I can't power oh, it. Son oh, son of a. How much money do I need? I don't even know how much money I need. Um, well, what if we trashed one of your other powers? Well, I don't know. I I, I oh, man, these waves are gonna escalate quickly though. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if I can get better weapons for my sp spotlights. That's awesome. Oh my god. Manually target an area to illuminate, allowing turrets to fire on it at night. We haven't even seen Oy, that yet. Night farm place on any type of terrain block to plant a farm which heals your character oh, okay really so if stuff gets really bad and you start getting beat up eat during the round yeah this is really cool actually lights too you're gonna have to put out lights mining drill ladder teleporter oh man yeah see this is really like elaborate it's right? yeah i mean it's just one of those games that you're gonna have to put some time into to get more out of but i don't really know like i have a pistol and I want more than a pistol, and I don't see that anywhere yeah, right now. I feel like you need a machine gun <laughs> or something. Yeah, like, yeah, you do. Well, let's just go on to the second round. Okay. Ch -ch 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 yeah, I mean, just to be clear, me and Justin jumping into this without knowing anything. 
yeah. well, basically next to nothing. Basically about. nothing. Oh, nope, nope, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, so I built like a little wall here, and my eventual thought is that I'm just going to enclose everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know how expensive or how easy or. Yeah, hard eventually you're going to want to put a fort around the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, whoop, I heard. Oh my, my god, your plasma turret sounds awesome. Whoa. Okay. Oh, see, they're coming more from that way now. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, wow. And these guys... I these was going to say, I see some... New enemies? Yeah. Yeah. This is as far as I made it the la the first time I played the game. And these, these guys, guys... These guys fire They don't me. have shields, but yeah, they have guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, your plasma turret's putting down the hurt, though. Yeah, it really is. I feel like it was expensive, though. I didn't even pay attention to how much it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so I was starting to say, you earn rare resources uh -huh. in between every mission, and those rare resources are used to permanently power up a level. Nice. Oh, oh, you okay. just got a plasma pistol. An yes. experience enough to use plasma pistol. Well, how do I do it? Can I switch? Probably not. Maybe between rounds? Yeah, but that's cool, though, because, again, it's per it's persistent. So. Right, so that's persistent. So eventually, like, I'm assuming I will lose. Like, I won't have enough money to defend, and I'll lose, but next time... You know, I'll have earned enough resources to, like, slightly level, level up my tow tower, and I keep my character. It's sort of like a roguelike, where, like, maybe you keep one piece of gear, one piece of progress. Right. I like it. Yeah. What's my what's my health? I don't even know. Oh, uh, my health is 166 at yeah. 200. So you're, you're a little hurt, but... Yeah, but I'm okay. Yeah, like, really, when they hit you, they're not doing too, too much. No. But I, but I imagine that it's not like you're healing... Between rounds, I don't think so. No, I'm gonna you need to, buy to eventually a make a eventually. farm, yeah. And then I feel like I'm gonna need to be. Shoot, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know the the death sound is is actually kind of adorable. And like the rounds are not short, right? Like I feel like they last a while. Yeah. So now I have to kill 15 more enemies, and the round's over. It's a little bit hard to aim. Yeah. I feel like they can improve those aiming controls. Yeah, it would almost be nice if you could have the option to auto-lock to nearest target or something. I, I like this a lot. My criticisms would be, yeah, I mean, the actual moment-to-moment -moment movement, like when you're on foot, doesn't feel great. And, like, this game definitely needs way more of a tutorial. Like, I had no I, I still basically have no idea what, I was, what I'm doing, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the problem the original, like, Minecraft had for a long time and still does. Like, you have to go visit a wiki, and I feel like that's going to be the same thing. Oh, man, he already destroyed one of the blocks. Really? Yeah. Probably that thing not. was sitting on two blocks. Sure. I thought Shoot. so. Yeah, you're probably right. One of my mining blocks is under attack. Oh, I wasn't even reading that. Oh, uh, they were attacking yeah. this. And, like, I don't know if blocks repair. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's a little unapproachable. For but sure. That, that I think that plasma turret was a nice. lifesaver, by the way. Yeah. It does a lot of damage. There's still one enemy left. Yeah, see, okay. there's, like, there's blind spots that I feel like are hard to spot. Nice. You did it, though. Mined mineral 60 out of that round. Wow, that was really nice. Yeah, so it seems like the mines are really important. Yeah, it's I mean, because you need those minerals to... Oh, wow, that one's smoking, though. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, so there's... Oh, man, they're finite resources, too. Three, 366. And, and the block did heal up between rounds, unless it wasn't actually being hurt. What's a block we know is being attacked? Uh, like this one? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like maybe they heal up between rounds. If they survive the round, then they survive. Okay, so... Let's let's get things ready for next round, and then we'll save. Yeah, I think you need to get a plasma pistol for you, first oh, of all. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I don't know where like any of that stuff is. <laughs> right? Like, this is what or I mean. Or maybe equip? Equipment. Pistol. Where's plasma? P plasma pistol. Should I buy it? Wow, 35. Yeah. I bought it. I mean, it sucks that it costs as much as it did, but now you have... I mean, you It know. wasn't that much, was it? Well, I it was mean, 35... Uh, of your uh, minerals, yeah, and like I don't know the difference between this in these materials. I think some HP of them 100, HP 100. Oh, so it looks like they're just it's just preference, right? Yeah, at least on those ones, it's aesthetic. What what about like the higher ones though? Wood. Like I imagine like concrete. Now these are all the same so far. So maybe metal. Metals, okay, yeah. Metals so more. And now it, we and start it, going up. And it costs double. Right. Tech metal. Yeah. So Two hundred fifty. Yeah. So let's let's build out our defenses for this round, and then call it a day. Okay. I think we need to get another mine shaft. Yeah. Can we afford to? Man, they get more expensive each time. I like see. Like it's exponential. So right, maybe, right. maybe we'll save it till next round. We definitely need to power up this. Oh, but the enemies are coming from the east this time. Mm. 
That's not good. Get a plasma turret here. Yeah. See, we don't have that many. You have you have two resources. I guess maybe we, I should have explained that from the start. You have money, and then you have minerals, your minerals. Right. And so it tells you the cost in green there. How do I delete? I want to delete that block and then put him here, maybe. Sure. But now I need power. Oh God. This might. We're in trouble here. Yeah, we're already down to 15 uh, minerals. Let's see what. We definitely need more defenses. That's the bottom line. How much does this cost? It 20 cash. And is oh, that but it? that just 20 cash. Right. So I guess that's and the benefit of the. the oh, and the plasma. And that costs 15 resources as well. But, minerals. But no, and five cash. Right. Yeah. So so we can we can place a bunch of these. Right. I guess that's why the plasma turret is technically seemingly a lot you know like a lot more powerful because there's a higher resource cost overall. Can you place one on? Oh, you can place them on your actual. Nice, and they're still powered. Yeah, that one was powered because this reaches... The only bad thing about those ones you're putting on top of your uh, home will be the firing down arc will be pretty... Like, they'll have a good long range, but the short range is probably going to be kind of like brutal. right in the middle, like right yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. Um, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like we're probably not thinking about this. It's just like in Minecraft, where, like, the first time you played, you would, like, go around a big ravine instead of just, like, putting blocks Realizing over. Realizing like, you could build a bridge. Yeah, yeah sure. Like, I feel like I'm probably not being very smart. Like, I probably should be, like, building a big wall or something. I don't even know. Well, that's the whole point. Y I mean, the, the the good thing is that even if you fail right now, obviously you've still made progress. You've hit level three now. You have a plasma pistol. So there's like a permanent sense of progression. You know, we still have 100 money, by the way. Like, and, and, I, I, and I, mean, I think... Yes, you could just throw down a whole bunch of machine guns if you wanted. Or 15 more cement blocks, because I think those costed MR. We should probably at least put machine guns on the four corners. Like, that's kind of a no-brainer. Last that's resort. Th that's probably like the first thing you should do. Sure. Um... I don't know. What else? What do you think? Should we build like maybe a start like building up our wall? You could build one more, uh, one more plasma turret too. You could. Because it, it costs it's 15, fifteen resources. Well, I feel like with the oh, concrete. but you, if you have to put concrete there, you're not gonna be able to afford it. That's true. Hmm. 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 Like I don't even know the, a good spot to put. Well, like when the advantage of a wall is obviously the defense, but then it stops your own turrets. Yeah. So like. That's true too. Yeah, you're right. Well, I guess we can work on this wall at least. Get it going. Do, do, do. And I know, like, they're coming from the other direction. But then when they eventually come from this way. Exactly. You're investing in the future. <laughs> that's right. The future of my survival. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You got a decent looking wall. We're probably, I mean, you know, let's do it. Yeah. So this has been the first two days of Block Fortress. Um, I definitely like this enough to play more. I haven't quite decided, like. Yeah. How much is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, yeah. I downloaded I, this. It's cheap. I think it's like a buck. Like, yeah. I think it's a dollar. I mean, I asked that knowing that 99% of the time iOS games, it doesn't really, price is so inconsequential. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot I don't know about this game. Like, I don't know how far this map goes. Like, is that the edge right there? It looks like it is. Probably. We're going to learn a lot more about it over yeah. the coming days, though. I definitely like this enough to play more. I, you know, it's not super polished. It's not like, you know, a 10 out of 10 game. But, uh, you know, I'm intrigued enough to keep playing. What about you? Yeah, I think it's a it's a good twist on, you know, instead of just making a simple Minecraft clone, they're doing something interesting with it. I wish it was a little more intuitive. But For sure. it's it cool enough that I actually am interested to learn more about it. For sure. I, I like the wave, you know, build wave, build wave. Like, we just said we were going to stop, and I immediately wanted to, like, jump into the next wave and yeah, see I how know. it went. Um, but we won't. We'll save it. So thank you, Anthony, for joining me. Thank you, everybody, for checking out Block Block Fortress. Block Fortress. Um, yeah, and be sure to keep it locked for all your mobile game news, everybody. Don't oh, keep it locked. Maybe I should say where. I guess we could say keep it locked <laughs> IGN for your mobile game news. Be sure to visit IGN.com slash wireless for everything about all the hottest mobile games.